All right, hello everyone. All right, so let's talk about the OR logical operator. All right, so the OR logical operator merges Boolean expressions together. And for the entire Boolean expression to be true, at least one of the expressions has to be true. If any of the expressions is true, then the whole, the whole enti the entire exp the entire expression becomes true. If both expressions are true, still the entire expression becomes true. The only time the entire expression becomes false is when both expressions are false. All right? All right, so I'm going to create an example, create a scenario so we can better understand it. So I'm going to create two variables to represent two uh, the ages of two people. So since we're dealing with the with ages, I'm going to create an int variable for the first student or the first person. I'm going to say person, um, let's use student, student one age. And I'm going to set it equal to any any age for now. For now, I'm going to set it for uh, to 19. And the second age, I'm going to set it to maybe 20 or something. All right. So the reason I'm creating these ages is, is because I want to create an if statement. I want to display a message. I want to figure out um, if at least one of these students is an adult. Okay. So if you're an adult, then you are of age. 18 or above you're you're 18 years or above that that makes you an adult if you're below 18 that makes you a child so i want to figure out if there is at least one adult in you know okay from, from these two from these two students i want to find out if one at least one of them is an adult and so i'm going to create an if statement and i'm going to use the all logical operator over here so i'm going to say that if student one age is um, is greater than or equal to 18, or this is why I use the all logical operator, two pipes, okay? So the all is represented by two pipes. I call them pipes. So I'm going to use a comment over here to say that pipes, oops, pipes, okay? It's on your keyboard somewhere. Now this is just for comments, and this is two pipes. Oh, sorry. The, um, this well, it's it's an operator, right? So it's two pipes, but then two two is actually plural. So these are two pipe two pipes. <laughs> all right. So two pipes means all, right? So that's the all logical operator. So over here, I'm going to say if student one age is greater than or equal to eighteen, or student two age is greater than or equal to eighteen, then at least we have one adult, right? Which makes sense. So I'm going to display a message and say that um, there's at least one adult. If there's not if there's no adult, then let's display a message using the else branch, okay, and say that there are no adults. All right. So for this entire, if you merge, okay, expressions together with the all logical operator, for the entire expression to be true, at least one of these expressions has to be true. So if this expression is true, then the entire expression is true. So sorry, if this expression is true and this expression is false, the entire expression becomes true. If this expression is true and this expression is false, the entire expression still becomes true because at least one of these two is true. If both of these expressions are true, the entire expression becomes true. All it requires is that at least one of the expressions has to be true. And if, if one of them is true, if at least one of them is true, then the entire expression becomes true. The only time that this expression becomes false is when both of them are false. And in that case, then the else part will run. That, that means that there is no adult in this case. There, there is no adult. In that case, we won't print out there's at least one adult. We'll print out there are no adult. All right. So let's test this out. We know student one age is 19. Okay. That's above 18. We know student two age is 20. That's above 18. So that means that this expression here is true because student one age is 19, which is 19 is greater than 18. So that means this is true. This expression here, student two age is 20. So 20 is greater than or equal to 18. And so that means this expression is also true. 
okay? Both of them are true, and so this expression becomes true. All it requires, if you merge expressions with the or, or, or operator, all it requires is that at least one of them is true. In this case, both of them are true. So, you know, the expression becomes true. It, re it required only one, now both of them are true. So when we run this and so when, when we compile and run this, it says that there's at least one adult. That's true right? because both of them are adults. And if both of them are adults, there's, a, there's, a, there's at least one, right? Let's change this to eight. So we know this student is an adult and this student is a child, right? So let's test and again. If student one age is greater than or equal to 18, student one age is 19, 19 is greater than or equal to 18. And so this expression is true. Now remember that the all operator, all it requires for the entire expression to be true is when at least one of the expressions is true. In this case, we know this is true, right? Because student one age, 19 is greater than or equal to 18. So it wouldn't even waste time to check the second one. All it needs is that one of them has to be true for the entire expression to be true. But let's go ahead and check this. Student two age is eight. Eight is not greater than or equal to 18, so this is false. But because at least one of them is true, because the statement student age one, which is 19, 19 is greater than or equal to 18, because this is true, then the entire expression becomes true, which means there's at least one adult. So when I compile this and I run, it's going to display there's at least one adult, and that's true. If I change this to all kids, so this the student one age is six, student two age is eight. Let's test this out, student one age, Sorry, if student one age is greater than or equal to 18. So now one age is six. It's not greater than or equal to 18. And so this expression is false, right? It's just it's just looking for the all operator, right? This, uh, this Boolean expression here, it's kind of looking for any true expression. This is false. So it's going to check the other one and see if that's true, right? So then two age here is eight. And eight is not greater than or equal to 18. And so this is also false. And so this is false. This is false. Not even one of them is true. And in that case, when both of them are false, then the entire expression becomes false. All it requires, all the logical operator, the all logical operator requires is that at least one of the expressions, okay, is true. In this case, both of them are false, which means there are no adults. And so when I compile this and I run, it should say that there are no adults. And so that's how well, that, yeah, that's how the lo all logical operator works. And we'll see examples, more examples of it in the future. We'll see an example program and, um, and how it's used um, in, in, in programs. All right, so if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right, then. Bye-bye.